Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. I am at Gasparilla Island State Park on the west coast of Florida. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I left my house at 3.30 a.m. this morning. A four hour drive over here. It's just sunrise now on the east coast. Looking west. The beach is right on the other side of those trees there. So I've never been here before. So uh, all I know about it is what I saw on Google Earth and Google Maps last night. Looks like there's an access down to the beach right there. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab my bag here and tripods and, uh, yeah, let's go see what we can see. Yeah, there's the beach access here. What a long drive that was. Cross Alligator Alley. So dark out there in the middle of the night. Kind of creepy. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. The Gulf looks like a, it's the Gulf of Mexico. It looks like a lake. All right, so looks like I have to walk down along this seawall here. Again, I just kind of looked this up on Google Maps, so yeah, it looks pretty accurate. There's a broken pier up here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, let's go get set up and get some shots in. So you can see the broken pier behind me there. Some break of rocks down there. It looks like I can get down onto the beach right there. Probably a couple different angles. Might even try to get uh, in front of these breaker rocks and maybe get some of that in my foreground too. But yeah, let's uh, sky start and light up a little bit. Let's get this while it's a uh, while it lasts. I'm gonna be here for about three or four hours today. There's another kind of broken pier down down south here, and then there's two lighthouses that I'm gonna try to get some good shots of. So yeah, there you can see the broken pier. What an absolutely stunning morning. Unfortunately, I think you missed on the video most of the best light. I got down here right as the sun was rising to the east and wanted to get some shots in while the, there's still some color up in the clouds there. So calm, so peaceful, not much wind at all this morning. Flat Gulf of Mexico. Absolutely beautiful. This is Gasparilla Island State Park. The actual state park is down to the left there. It doesn't actually open until nine o'clock, so, but I found a parking place just up the way and I would walk down the seawall of the beach to get here. So not sure if I'm supposed to do it, but I have a bunch of people down there uh, looking for shells. And uh, I guess on this island, there is a lot of prehistoric shark teeth to find. So I'll be on the lookout for that. But yeah, let me get some more shots here before uh, before I lose any more of this light. Wow, what a morning. All right, so we're about 15 minutes past sunrise right now. Uh, the sun hasn't risen enough to really make it too harsh yet. Uh, there's some clouds back to the east, so I'm still at a 30 second exposure. That Gulf of Mexico, like I said, is just really flat. And uh, with the 30 second exposure, it is just like flat, flat. <laughs> Not too much movement in the clouds. A little bit of mood as the rain approaches. All right, let's get a couple more shots here. All right, so I told you in my last video, the one about practicing your photography, that I was gonna be using my 70 to 300 millimeter. I've already taken all my wide angle shots of uh, the broken pier here. So I've got the 70 300 on right now. Uh, there's some pelicans way at the end. So I'm really focused all the way out there now, uh, trying to capture some, some close up shots of them.
All right, so I have my 10-stop ND filter on there now. And yeah, I'm focused in on the second half of the broken pier out there. There's probably about seven, eight, nine Pelicans out there now. Um, I'm at ISO 100, F11. Uh, it's giving me a 15 second exposure. Uh, I just took one and four or five of the Pelicans stayed still and a couple of them are moving around. Uh, I'll have to see what that looks like when I get home. Maybe take out the blurred peng uh, pel penguins, Pelicans, and uh, leave the ones that are being good and staying still. Okay, let's give that another shot. Stay still, guys. Two second timer. And a pelican comes flying in. Well, you can't really expect a pelican to sit still for 15 seconds now, can you? Well, after much debate and looking at it and not wanting to clone out nine or 10 of them, I decided to leave the pelicans in. And after looking at it a little while, I actually really liked the sense of motion that the blurry pelicans give the image. All right, so I think I got every available composition of that broken pier. I know I've said it before in my videos before, but we just, on my side of Florida, the East Coast, we just don't have anything. At least the Southeast Coast of Florida, maybe farther up north they do. But if that was on my side, they would have torn that down and put in something shiny and new. And uh, not thought of, you know, kind of the tourist attraction or the photography attraction. Because um, I'm sure I am not the only one, whether a photographer or just general tourist who comes out here and takes pictures of this stuff. All right, so I'm going to head down the beach there to the south and try to get some photos of that uh, old uh, lighthouse. Like I said, it's from 1890. Uh, from photos that I've seen, it's still in pretty good shape. And let's see if I can do it justice. All right, let's take a walk down the beach. I have no idea what happened to my audio in this part, but in this clip, I was standing directly in front of the lighthouse and I was having problems figuring out my composition. I didn't know if I wanted to go vertical or go horizontal with it. Off to the right of the lighthouse was the lighthouse keeper's house, and I didn't know if I wanted to include that in my composition. Ultimately, I decided on a one by one square crop, and after the edit, it became one of my favorite photos of the day. All right, so I'm having a really hard time figuring out this lighthouse composition. So I'm far, I'm to the far right now, down along the water edge. <sighs> the curvature of the uh, of the surf here and the beach is kind of a half-ass leading line. Actually, leads you towards it, but then away from it. Uh, I'm going to try it anyway. So I put on my 15-stop ND filter. So much for the rain. Uh, got some nice little puffy clouds out there, though. I was hoping for a little bit of rain to cool it off. Anyway, 15 stop ND filter. It's given me, I'm in bulb mode. It's given me about a minute and a half exposure right now if I can find my timer, my remote shutter. All right, here we go. Pray we don't get a little gust of wind or the water doesn't shake the tripod too much like that. Ugh. Be back in a minute and a half, see how this turns out. So I am going to finish up right where I started, back at this broken pier. Somebody called it the Florida Stonehenge, <laughs> I guess from a certain perspective, uh, maybe. Not quite, as, not quite as old though. All right, the water's still pretty calm except for this little shore break. Let's see what my 10 stop is going to give me as far as exposure goes. Not very much, maybe three or four seconds in this bright light. Yeah, if I go down to ISO 50, 
gives me about a six second exposure, so I think that's good. Water's super flat out there. Again, just a little bit of shore break here. Uh, it looks milky smooth right there. All right, one more six seconds. I focused in on that one, now I'm focusing on that one. Combine them, get them both super sharp. Okay, those look really, really nice. Milky smooth, the water is just so blue. I'm gonna cover up my microphone here because I lost my dead cat along the way. These dead cats for the road wireless microphones are absolutely such a terrible design. But yeah, I think I got some, a lot of great pictures today, especially here at the, uh, at the Broken Pier, Florida Stonehenge. And I think I got a couple good ones out of the lighthouse as well. So um, I'll put everything up at the end of the screen if I haven't put them up already. And uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in today from Gasparilla Island State Park. I'm on the west coast of Florida, uh, about four hours from home. I had to drive straight across Alligator Alley and up about an hour and a half. And now about four hours home. I'm going to go find a rest area to take a nap at and then, uh, yeah, get home safe. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in this week. Have a great week. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you again really soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.